Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Craft Kitchen, soon to be rebranded into Maui Don Fit. That's right. Yep. I am going to take this channel and I'm going to take it from just a cooking channel and I'm going to make it a little bit more. It's going to be an all around blog for staying fit, eating right. That doesn't necessarily just mean eating salads and eating rice cakes. We're going to be making everything from scratch because I still eat pasta. I still eat steak. I eat pork. I don't limit myself. I have a Twix every two to 10 years. <laughs> I really don't eat processed foods too much, but occasionally I will indulge because that's what life is about, indulging in the finer things. And if you can't do that, then what's the point of living? So you might as well enjoy it. Try to stay fit, try to stay healthy, try to keep a clean mind and body. So here is to that. This is my morning coffee. I roast it myself. Of course, if you've been following along, sorry, I'm looking at the screen, not the lens. If you've been following along, you would already know that I roast my own coffee because I already made an episode about roasting my own coffee, which you should be doing because it's a lot higher in antioxidants and things like that for you. A lot better for, or a lot better for you with fresh roasted coffee. But anyway, so we are going to rebrand this channel to Maui Don Fit. Oh, my dog's snoring, can you hear him? Say hi, Kato. <laughs> and I'm going to make this a little more personal, a little more bloggish, a little more about me uh, and what I do just in my daily routines, just to stay fit. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you will continue to follow me, tell your friends, spread it like aloha, because that really helps me and helps this channel grow and will help me to, uh, to help you guys in, in the long run. So mahalo, my friends, mahalo. First off, let's see those water cups. You gotta have enough water to stay hydrated, to keep up with everything you're gonna do in your day. From digestion, to activities, uh, to sleeping, water affects everything. So make sure that you're drinking loads of this stuff all day long. I don't even have time to drink anything else because I'm drinking so much water. This holds just over two quarts. I think it's two and a quarter quart. And I must drink, I don't know, five or six of these a day. Um, and that's just because I'm very active throughout my day. So I'm always reaching for my water and you should too. I have broke down one of my workouts into smaller clips to give you an idea of what I do. I do these exercises to exhaustion and I do this routine twice. It usually takes about 40 minutes. Aloha guys, what's going on? Uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of my backstory just to let you know who I am, what I've done, where I've come from. Um, when I was younger, about 14 years old, I was obese. I was 265 pounds at my heaviest and I hated it. I wanted to change. 
And obviously over the years, uh, some things have changed. Um, hard work and dedication throughout the years have, uh, have definitely led to the way I look today. Um, I can't say that all of those years were 100% you know, to the T, eating right, exercising every day, um, but they are now. And I would say that some of the changes in lifestyles, like not eating as many processed foods, uh, I don't eat fast food at all, I don't drink soda, things like that have definitely contributed to staying slim uh, throughout the years because those things are just awful for you. It's pure poison, it really is. Um, in my opinion, I'm not here to, people like that stuff, that's fine but it's not going to help you reach your fitness goals, that's for sure. So I just wanna let you know that it's okay to have a little bit of excess skin. It's okay to not exactly look all right while you're exercising, you know, look all right. Um, if things are hanging down, who gives a shit? You know what, you're doing it. You're on the right track, you're getting it done, you're staying dedicated. That's the biggest thing, is staying dedicated. I will tell you that I don't give 100% on all of my workouts. I work out six times a week, um, you know, throughout the day as well, and I don't always give 100%, but I do do it. I show up, I get it done, and it makes me feel better. Things that might have ached before the workout don't ache after the workout, even if you had sore muscles, just getting them moving really helps to just make everything feel better. And it makes everything feel better every single day. So all those aches and pains that you have in the morning, you can probably just get rid of them by a little bit of fitness in your life. Eating right, all this stuff, you know, getting the right sleep, sleeping in the right position, all of these things really help your overall well-being and just your clarity. So um, yeah, let me get down to it here. See. You can see right here that uh, my I do still have some excess skin, and that's okay, you know, because I'm not going to get a tummy tuck. I'm not going to get, you know, any sort of plastic surgery or anything like that, but all of this excess skin will go away. I can tell you right now that I have a lot less excess skin than I did a year ago, and this will, I'm just going to fill it all with muscle, and the more I fill it with muscle, the less excess skin I will have, right? Makes sense. So eventually this will look just like this through dedication. That's all it takes is dedication. I'm not sure if you can see uh, the stretch marks in my stomach or not, but just to prove to you, I was large. You can see them definitely in my shoulder, the stretch marks from being much, much larger. Uh, so it just goes to show you that through hard work and proper dedication, sorry, I'm not looking at the lens, <laughs> through hard work and proper dedication, uh, that, you know, you can do this too. You, you can definitely get to where you want. It, it's not gonna happen overnight. You're not gonna look in the mirror, you know, the next day after working out 12 hours, if that's what you're doing, and, uh, and be like, wow, I look great. It's, it's just not gonna happen. But if you do that, if you do, okay, maybe not 12 hours, but if you do something every day, and just keep it up. Eventually, a year later, you're going to look in that mirror and you're gonna be like, wow, I did it. I did it. So I'm here to share with you my experiences and what I've done in my lifetime so far to get to where I am and tell you that it's not impossible. Aloha, my friends.